3D body scanning technology is undergoing explosive growth, with high-end stereo optical scanners like this 3DMD body scanner producing scans with far better fidelity than previous generation laser body scanners, and low-end scanners using inexpensive depth cameras like the Kinect, bringing 3D body scanning to a level of ubiquity previously unheard of. But a scan is just a scan, a collection of points frozen at an instant in time. The applications we care about in fashion, medicine, fitness, and anthropometry require more. We want to breathe life into the scan. The first goal is to be able to repose the scan and animate it with natural shape deformations. These deformations must capture how soft tissue deforms with pose. Second, we must be able to extract accurate measurements from the scan, regardless of what pose it was captured in. Third, we want to be able to edit the body shape to increase or decrease weight or muscle mass, or simply to create new characters with different shapes. Finally, we want to automatically dress scanned bodies in clothing that fits, and to animate this clothing with realistic deformations. All of this needs to happen from a single scan, completely automatically, without markers or manual intervention. The results must be of high accuracy and high realism, capturing natural human body shape and pose variation. To enable this, we use a parametric model of the human body that factors body shape into two causes, one due to identity and the other due to pose. This means that the intrinsic shape of a person remains constant even when their pose varies, enabling the estimation of shape from multiple poses and realistic animation of the body. Shape is parameterized as a set of weights that describe how much a set of basis bodies should deform the average body. The key idea is to represent a high-dimensional body shape with a low-dimensional parametric model that can be fit reliably to scan data. Our body model captures the statistics of shape variation in the population and is learned from the US and European CSER data set of approximately 4,000 3D body scans. To make this possible, however, we must have all the training bodies brought into registration and normalized for pose. Once in full correspondence with a template mesh, we are able to compute how shape varies across the population. Registering thousands of meshes, fully automatically, and with high accuracy, however, remains a challenging problem for several reasons. First, many parts of the body lack distinct features, making registration ambiguous. Pose variation creates additional problems for registration, since body parts may look very different in different poses, and we cannot make assumptions about where the parts may be found in 3D. In some poses, portions of the body may not be seen by the scanner, resulting in missing data and significant holes. Previous methods registered the scans independently, and then, in a separate step, the registrations were used to build models. Now we combine registration and model building into a single integrated process, iteratively refining the model and its component registrations until they converge. Once the training bodies are registered, we perform principal component analysis to characterize the major directions of shape variation in the population. These are the first few principal components of female body shape variation. Notice that these shape components do not capture pose variation. This is an important property of our factored model. The final piece of the model captures pose-dependent deformations. Unlike traditional skinning models, these deformations are learned from data and capture subtleties such as pose-dependent muscle and soft tissue deformation. Now, we come back to our scan. To turn the scan into an avatar, we must fit the model to the scan. This is done by adapting the parameters of our model, pose and shape, to minimize the distance between the scan surface and the model surface. Here you see the model in blue systematically exploring pose and shape variation to fit the scan in gray. Since pose is approximately 45 dimensional and shape just as complex, this is a challenging search problem. The result is the detailed avatar on the right, which captures the shape of the scan on the left. Because it is a parametric model, it can be fully animated, edited, and manipulated. It is no longer a scan, but a true model with a relatively small number of parameters. Now that we have a parametric body model, there's a lot we can do. For example, we can relate the parameters of the shape model to physical properties of the body, such as height and weight. 
We do this using simple linear regression from the parameters to measurements. This works surprisingly well, outperforming Human Solutions AnthroScan, with the added advantage of being pose independent. That is, we can take a scan in a seated pose and still extract measurements. These measurements are directly coupled to body shape, and this provides a natural means to edit shape. On the left is a panel that relates measurements to body shape. Here we show only a few of these shape controls, such as height, weight, waist, chest circumference, etc. On the right is the personalized model. Here we edit the model to make it thinner or fatter, with a larger chest or larger waist. In all cases, the shape is the most likely shape in the space of human body shapes for those measurements. We can also vary the pose of the body. Here we select from a set of poses we commonly use in scanning. Note that this person was only scanned in a single pose. Even with widely different body shapes, we get natural looking deformations of the body. If you don't have a personalized avatar, you can load a generic body like the average male here. This provides a foundation for creating new body shapes by setting the shape parameters. As before, we can select a new pose and repose the body using male-specific pose deformations. Of course, we can also animate the avatar through a range of poses simply by rotating the limbs. The learned pose-dependent model takes care of the non-rigid deformations. The same model can also be texture mapped. This is a preliminary example of extracting a texture map from the scan. If you are interested in exploring the shape model, you can do so online at bodyvisualizer.com. Note that this application requires WebGL to run, which is supported in Chrome and can be enabled in Safari. The online model also does not support pose variation. Now that we have an avatar, we'd like to dress it. This must work for any body shape, in any pose, be fully automatic, and animate realistically. To accomplish this, we have developed a virtual clothing system called Drape. We begin by generating two sets of training data for each garment. Male and female bodies are animated using motion capture data, and a wide variety of body shapes are dressed in a common pose. The training clothing is produced using Optitex, a physically-based simulation system. Pose-independent shape deformations are learned from the shape training data using PCA. Pose deformation is decomposed into rigid rotations that match the part rotations of the underlying body model and a non-rigid component learned as a second-order dynamics model of the rigid rotations, history frames, and body state changes. After synthesizing clothing for a previously unseen body, we optimize the clothing to minimize cloth body interpenetration while still constraining the clothing to be close to the synthesized solution. This results in synthetic clothing tailored to a particular body shape and realistically animated as pose changes. For a previously unseen body shape, clothing synthesis is completely automatic, requiring no human intervention. In summary, our work addresses the stage after scanning, modeling and analysis. These go hand in hand. Building accurate models of body shape and its deformation require precise registration of all scans, and this in turn enables a detailed statistical analysis of body shape. Because the resulting model is based on data, it immediately supports applications such as animation, measurement, and shape editing.